pilgrimage is full of surprises, but there are at least three things we can count on. One, the destination is not as important as the walk itself, because it's the walking that transforms us. Two, we don't often end up where we think we're going to. And three, what we think is the end is really just another beginning. God is always beckoning us forward into new life and deeper places. Letting go is the work of a lifetime. Over the years, like it or not, we lose, let go, or have taken away. Things, plans, pets, and loved ones, emptying ourselves of what we imagined we couldn't live without. To some extent, our identity gets caught up in those things and peeling them away, that act of self-emptying can open us to new ways of being who we are. So what is the spirituality of young people? Um, What is characteristic of this generation? Um, And I see a yearning for truth, capital T truth, truth that is absolute. Our hope is in the young. And for the majority of their lives, they hear that their place in society is one of very little significance. And so my plea for all of us is that we continue to voice and be, be a voice of, of empowerment in, in the lives of every young person that we encounter. For people with dementia, the most important aspects of maintaining spiritual connection really does have to do with affirmation and relationship. Affirmation in that a person with dementia, again, is still a person. And as they say, when you've met one person with dementia, you've met one person with dementia. That person's worth is unconditional and sacred because he or she is created in God's image.